Now that Congressman Anthony Weiner has apologized for online sexting, his political career is on life support. Even fellow Democrats are giving him the cold shoulder as he insists he will not give up his House seat. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill with the latest force this morning. Nancy, good morning. Chris, good morning to you. There have now been a few calls for Weiner to resign, all those calls coming from Republicans, but Democrats are hardly defending him. As more embarrassing email exchanges leak out online, Congressman Weiner is keeping a low profile after his epic apology. I'm deeply sorry. Sorry wasn't good enough for House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, who sent a letter to the Ethics Committee Tuesday officially requesting an investigation. The top Republican on the committee indicated a probe would be conducted. My personal goal is to try to assure the American people this is not the majority of people uh, in, that serve in Congress or that work uh, in a congressional office. Rule number one of the House Code of Conduct calls for members to behave in a manner that shall reflect creditably on the House. Members are only allowed to use work computers for personal use if it is negligible in nature and frequency. Weiner insists he used personal devices in his intimate exchanges with at least six women over the past three years. I don't have a knowledge of every of every last communication, but I don't believe that I used any government resources. Still, the pressure is mounting for the seven-term congressman. House Majority Leader Eric Cantor said he should resign, and Democrats who stood by him initially are now backing away. I know Congressman Weiner. I wish there was some way I can defend him, but I can't. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid was asked what he would say if it's Weiner called clear. him for advice. Call somebody else. Okay. <laughs> the campaign of the Republican Party believes that this is a political gift. They're saying that they're going to target the 21 Democrats who got campaign funds from Congressman Weiner, and already one of those Democrats, Betty Sutton of Ohio, says she's going to give her $1,000 to charity. Chris? And Nancy, how quickly will the Ethics Committee act on this investigation? Well, Chris, it's likely we'll hear fairly soon whether they're going to actually conduct an investigation or not. But these investigations tend to drag out. They like to move slowly. It works better for a congressman often if they have apologized. But this is something that we could still be hearing about a year from now. But one thing we do know, Anthony Weiner can lose Harry Reid's phone number for the time being. Absolutely. All right. CBS's Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill for us this morning. Nancy, thank you.